Hello students, hope you all are doing well. Today's topic is the Declaration of Rights of Man and Citizen. In my last class, we have learned about how France becomes a constitutional monarchy. In that, I have discussed or I have mentioned this Declaration of Rights of Men and Citizen. So, I am going to tell you what exactly rights of man and citizens were during that period. So, these are very important. Go through them, revise it and memorize it. Okay. They are as follows. Men are born and remain free and equal in rights. That's, that means ki they were provided with equality. Rights, rights uh, um, you know, equal in rights they were provided with. And second, they were provided with inalienable rights. These are liberty, uh, property, ample of security they were provided with as well as resistance to operation. Next, no group or individual may exercise authority that does not come from the people. And next is, liberty consists of the power to do whatever is not injurious to others. So what exactly liberty is? Liberty is the state of being free, free within society from oppressive restrictions imposed by the authority or can say by the government on uh, one's uh, way of life. So this is liberty. The law has the right to forbid only actions that are injurious to society. All citizens have the right to participate in its formation personally or through their representative that shows that all citizens are equal before the law. And no man may be accused or arrested or detained except in cases determined by the law. Then we have that every citizen may speak, write and print freely that shows that he must take responsibility for the abuse of such liberty in cases determined by the law. And last is tax is indispensable which means it must be assessed equally on all citizens in proportion to their means but whatever the occupation they are having according to that they have to pay the taxes okay next you know uh, there were numerous political symbols that were uh, getting uh, that were coming into power they are as follows first is broken chain that shows act of becoming free means getting or setting to get free that is broken chain Next is bundle of rods it, that symbolize strength lies in unity. So if there is one stick, it can be broken. But if there is a bundle of stick, it is hard to break. Okay. Next is eye with triangle radiating light. Hmm? That symbolizes rays of sun drive away clouds of ignorance. Okay, next is scepter which symbolizes royal power. Next symbol is snake biting its tail to form ring. For say, this is your snake, okay, somewhat like that. Okay, so it is forming like a ring that symbolizes eternity which, which shows that there is no beginning and no, there is no beginning or end. So it forms like a ring. Next is blue, white, red. The, these are the national colors of France. Next symbol is red Phrygian cap. This red Phrygian cap shows, symbolizes that cap worn by these slaves on becoming free. Okay, so these are numerous symbols that were uh, getting popular. Next is winged women that personifies personification of law. And law tablet shows that law is same for all. And all are equal before the law okay so that's all for today two topics we have done declaration of rights of man and citizen and the uh, next is political symbol both are important just go through them thoroughly revise it and memorize it this is your today's homework just go through both the topics okay stay healthy stay fit take care of yourself thank you